Hi everyone, welcome back to the Battle of Atlantic in Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Griegs Marine doing a more challenging version this time. Uh, everything is set to difficult. Uh, we got a limited fleet and that's all to allow Britain to survive long enough for the US to join the war. That is the overall goal. We want to challenge, uh, be challenged by the united front of the Americans and the uh, Britain and her empire as it were. Which will be a, hopefully a challenge, but we've got a bit of time to pass now, so uh, we're not going to go too nuts when it comes to uh, hunting down um, the UK shipping. Which is going to be grand. So, I'm not going to buy too many U-boats and flesh them out all over the, um, the Atlantic, because we want convoys to get through. We want to chip away at this, but we want them to survive. It seems odd, but yes, that's the idea of it. But anyway, in the western approaches, our two U-boats, U-39 and U-40, have intercepted ooh, a, uh, a convoy. Now, this is an interesting convoy. It's got one C-2 freighter, four destroyers, and a light cruiser Achilles. Right, this is interesting. wonder what that's doing. Is that a hunting killer group, I wonder? Okay, so here we are. Here we are. We can disengage. Do we want to disengage? No, probably not. We've got U-39 here. And Achilles is literally just off our bar right there. I think... Oh, and U-40 is in front of the... Hmm. Okay. Got to be careful with these destroyers. But a cruiser... You know, get off and get a chance to have a pop at a cruiser. So, let's have a look at Achilles. She's 5,000 meters away. Leander class light cruiser. Lovely. Right. So, torpedo solution. 11.5. Uh, oh, hang on. Oops, gone the wrong way. Hey, <laughs> thought that looked a bit weird. 11.5, so somewhere around there, okay, so we'll do more of a leading shot there, and then pop one in there, pop one in there, and pop one there, fire, full salvo, Hopefully to um, knock out that Leander class straight away. Now, U-40 is in a very perilous position. How far is that? 2,000 meters, right. Um, maybe you want to go back? We're still cruising forward due to our momentum. Um, I think we are close, and one torpedo will probably be enough, but we do not want to risk it coming back to haunt us, so we're going to put two into it. Two torpedoes away. That should finish that destroyer off. Yes, the Ottawa's gone. The Ottawa is gone. Right, here comes the Achilles. They're all on high alert now. Sonar is being pinged. Here come the torpedoes for the Achilles. Oh! Will she get away with that? Will she get away? Right, we're going to stay here just to see. Nothing more to do on that side. Now, uh, it would be good to have a shot at this um, freighter over here. So actually, let's go full forward. hold off the torpedoes this time. Oh, she's dodged the torpedoes. Damn. Oh, Sunderlands are in the scene. Okay, she's not on target, I don't think. Or is she? Maybe she is. Oh, that is close. That is close. U-40's gone. Right, all of a sudden, this is not a very fun playground to be in. Not 
Oh, the Achilles survives. We're going to disengage. Yep, we're going to run away. We're going to run away. That's too costly. Too costly. Uh, we sunk the Ottawa. We missed the chance of the Achilles. Honestly, I'm going to protect you, 39. Yeah, sad loss. Oh, meanwhile. Oh, my hello. Meanwhile, in the Azores. The battleships Gneisenau and Scharnhorst with the destroyer Z1 has come under attack by the battlecruiser Repulse and the aircraft carrier Courageous. Well, there's me saying we're going to take it easy, but the Brits are throwing everything at us. Okay, this is going to be a challenge. We need to hit that aircraft carrier and knock her deck out. Otherwise, the aircraft could be catastrophic for us. They've got their first initiative, which will mean that they'll get their fighters on deck. Or, their, sorry, their torpedo bombers on deck. First shots, and they get us straight away. How can we walk so blind into this? Swordfish. Okay, we start off with the Gnais now then. Right, let's um, pull to port. Let's get all gun batteries facing, and we are going to engage the aircraft carrier. We're going to let the um, the battle cruiser take a few punches at us. That's fine. We need to knock out this aircraft carrier. Um, so elevation of twelve point five. I'm thinking we go high explosives. The wind is quite strong. quite enough. Again, target with the Shanhors, the Courageous, 14.5. Uh, uh, high explosives. Strong wind. Oh, that's not something we cannot miss. Right, flank speeds. Oh, I want to get you... <sighs> no. Okay, you're going to put up some smoke. I need her anti-aircraft guns around the um, the big ships. The smoke's doing wonders. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think Gnise now is a bit of trouble. Aircraft's going to be launched. Oh, damn, we're in trouble. Okay. You're not listing, are you? No. Now that smoke is going to just impair our vision, which is brilliant. Thank you so much. Um, so 12.7 was on. Let's drop it down to 12.5. High explosive shells. Fire. We haven't closed in that much. Hmm. Okay. Eleven point nine. Go eleven seven. Oh, let's go eleven nine. Bye. Wide and short. That's awful. Just awful. Is the smoke going to be hopefully covering. Oh well, you have to switch attention to the shot. No, they're not. They're continuing on with the guys now. Got locked in, so they're continuing to hit us. Right, here we go. Stand by. Oh, she's turning in. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got her. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> that was getting scarily close. She was just about to, to launch. Uh, okay, so we need to be a lot shorter then. We'll go 11 4. Aim for the back of the boat. There we go. Her deck is out of action. We can now switch all fire to that Super Star Destroyer. Uh, no, <laughs> not the Super Star Destroyer. To the 
battle cruiser. Right. Alright, where are we where are we at? Oh the smoke apparently. The smoke is gonna be a problem. Um So it's probably about twelve or something. Twelve twelve eight. We'll go with twelve eight. Oh, that's long. Continue to use the smoke. I need you to protect the guys now while she's repairing. And we need the anti aircraft guns. Here we go, the repulse. Open it with our front guns. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Look at that anti aircraft fire. Oh god, this is. She's torpedo away, torpedo away. Ah, she's got us, she's got us. I can't avoid that torpedo. Uh, how are we doing? Pulsion is damaged. What is. We can try a port turn, but it's not going to be enough. No, no, it's not going to be enough. No. Damn it! Right. The guys now is going to be in serious trouble now. Um, have we not had a shot at her yet? No, no we've been long firing at that one. Okay. Um, so I reckon about nine. No, a little bit more. A little bit more. Last time we fired at 12.7 and we were long, quite a way long. So bring that back down to about 10.7. Oh, we knocked out her B turret. Fantastic. Right. We know which way we're going to move forward this way now. We're going to engage with the torpedoes. And she should still be able to offer some um, fire with the uh, with her guns. Uh, we'll put some high explosive shells towards the, the aircraft carrier. They go harmlessly over. Oh! Ow! Jeez! Repulse is on form tonight. Right, here we go. Stand by. Just the death blow. Oh, she's coming from the other side now. Cheeky. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I can't do anything. She's a slow lumber lumbering ship. What can I do? Um, 8.9. We fired last time at 8.9 and we were short, but... Okay, I'm going to notch it up a bit to 9.3. One of the guns is jammed as well. Oh, they got through, thank heavens. Well, we're going to be have to be careful here. We don't get some uh, ramming action on, on the go. Right, um, 9.5. Drop the guns down. 10.7 was long. 9.7 I'm going to go with. Just for the wind, slightly. Oh, one shell made it, I think. <laughs> God. Um, this is a bit forlorn hope, isn't it? Ow! 
Oh my goodness me, how is she still... She's still afloat. Oh god, she's taking some punishment. I need to get her out of there. Oh god, here comes another death blow. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her! Oh no! <laughs> No, 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 no. Where's that torpedo? It's there. Oh, we'll hit back. It's not going to make any difference. Um, right. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, yeah. B, B gun is back in the uh, the fight. Right, 9.3 was on the money. They reckon 9 now. We'll drop that down then. She were just short last time, weren't we? Hmm, Okay. We'll trust it. Oh, there you go, Repulse. Have that. So you can play this game. Right. Sean Holst, do a lazy turn to starboard. 9.6, 9.6, okay. Fire. We'll bring all guns to bear from the destroyer because <laughs> that'll make a huge difference. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, hold in there, baby. Okay, the destroyer is now gaining interest from the repulse. She sees the danger. She can go with us. No, I thought she might go with her secondaries, but the the chance of sinking the battleship is just too great. Come on, sink her, sink her, bring it, sink her. I mean, destroy her. Oh, no. Darn these antiquated planes. We're still moving forward. Yeah, okay. She sussed our plan out. I guess we just keep firing and try and get the repulse with us. Right, repulse is main. Sorry, a gun is out of the action as well now. She's just got her rear turret. Right, we're gonna concentrate fire back onto the aircraft carrier. Uh, 9.5. I thought, you know, primary goal was to get her out of action so she can't launch more bombers, but maybe we should just finish it off as quickly as possible so she couldn't actually control her bombers. There you go, there's a lesson learned. 13.1. Uh, we go 13.2. So I'd like to be that little bit awkward. Oh! Was it just the turret? Was it just the turret going pop? Hopefully there's no... It's just secondary guns, but the destroyer has taken a bit of a pummeling. Ah! She's... Uh, why is she switched? She switched the destroyer. Oh. And we shoot that one down. <laughs> she now sees that the torpedoes from the destroyer as the biggest threat. Not the guys now who's... um. Pumps are still working, which is predominantly the main thing. Number one gun is out of action. A turret is completely destroyed. Okay, she's going to have to go back um, to pull some. Oh, and propulsion is pretty much knacked as well. Okay, you lump it out with the repulse. 8.8. .8. Sean Horse. Ooh, that's close. I should have paid a little bit more attention. Uh, 10.7. They reckon 9.5 was on the money. No, it wasn't. No. 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 Right. Okay, 10.6. Fire. Oh! All our gunnery's out for the moment, it would seem. Right. 
let's swing to port. Let me go around again, so I get my torpedoes. Right, so the Courageous. Actually, let's get some torpedoes against both of them. Uh, torpedo solution of 44.5. 44.5. It's about there. Is she going that fast though? Is she? I'm going to launch a couple of torpedoes there. Targeting this one. Uh, torpedo solution of 37. Really? I don't believe it. I'm going to pop. I'm just do, going to do a widespread. These are two very slow maneuvering ships. Oh, what the hell. Let's get rid of them all. We're going to go back to repairs anyway. Dance, monkeys. Dance. Let's see how they get on. Oh, they are still moving up. A bit of a pop. Yeah. And I also feared she wouldn't be around to um, launch the torpedoes the second time. My fears were potentially just... Now they're going for the destroyer again. Oh, oh, we're getting them all now, aren't we? Eh, <laughs> getting every single one of them now. Mm, okay, they. Mm, okay, not not very hopeful for that. Right. Um, eight point three, eight point seven. Okay, let's drop that down to eight five. Missing. Sean Horse is now getting in the way. Uh, nine, ten point six was long. It was long. Let's say nine, okay. I trust my aiming crews enough to go to nine point three. How you doing? Not brilliantly. Um, elevation of 10.4. Guns are still working though. A couple of waterline hits as well. Nice. Is that her last action? Oh, they're coming from this side now. How many have they put in the air? Off with no anti aircraft opposition whatsoever. They, they timed it right, didn't they, eh? Here come our torpedoes. I think the. Um... I think the aircraft carry courageous is just going to hide behind the repulse there, which I don't blame her, to be fair. Right, 8.8. Just going to give it another notch for luck. That sounded painful, didn't it? Sean Horst, um, 8.7. Wait, I thought we were short, weren't we? Hmm. Okay, we'll trust it. On the money. Right, you duck and weave, duck and weave. Best you can. Bring the guns down to 10. Bang, bang, bang. Have that. Oh, she missed! The torpedo, they missed! Unbelievable! Now our turn. Oh no. She's gone. That's our destroyer gone. Oh, I thought our torpedoes were going to move before they get their turn, but no. Okay. Here come the torpedoes. Repulse is gone, and those torpedoes are going to go wide, but Battlecruiser Repulse has been repulsed. Ha 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 ha! Good joke. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, for damaging the guys now, you are going to have to suffer the fate. 
Uh, I can't even see the um, target we're going for. There we go. No, not the repulse. Oh, I've just selected from the map. Let's get the courageous. She is making smook. She is smooking. Right, so I reckon probably about just under 11. 10.8. Fire. Probably didn't need fire and piercing either. Okay, less than less than that. Eight point seven, drop that down to eight four. Oh under the waterline hits. Always deadly. She's gone! She's gone! She's rolling over. And there we have. As I said, we're going to take it easy on the Brits to begin with. <laughs> that was up until the point where they almost sunk my battleship. <laughs> oh, a battle cruiser and an aircraft carrier. That is not a bad day's work. Oh, and now internal fires happening. There goes the, the repulse is sinking down there. Goes the aircraft carrier. Fabulous. Fabulous. Right, what's the butcher's bill? So, the battle cruiser Repulse has been sunk for 37,500 tons. The aircraft carrier Courageous has been sunk for 26,000 tons. The Gneisenau battleship has received medium damage. The Scharnhorst battleship is A OK, but the destroyer Z1 has been destroyed for 2,260 tons. But it is a net gain of 63,500 renown, which is awesome. Meanwhile, in the Bay of Biscay, Allied merchants attacked by submarines. 33,560 tons of merchant shipping was sunk. Brilliant. Right, so we've got a ship there. Look, blue ship. Um, let's get the Gneisen out. Where's our docks? Um, okay. Oh, goodness me. We're going to have to do the channel run, are we? Got to go back to Wilhelmshaven or um, Kiel, it would seem. Okie dokie. Um, let's get these back then. I'll send them the long way. It's it's not worth... Uh, Admiral Hipper's damage, so is Max Zoltz as well. Okay, so Max can go with them. And the Admiral Hipper... Uh, Leipzig, Nuremberg, uh, we'll leave the U-boat there and we'll take you. Hmm, we'll take a U-boat as well. No, we won't. Will we? No. You go down there and then they can cover around. Who do we have over here? We have the Lutzo down here. We have the Cologne. Down here we have the Admiral Graf Spey. Doing a bit of Atlantic hunting. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, meanwhile, the heavy cruiser Lutzo has come... Oh, has found a small convoy of a C2 freighter, a large freighter and a C2 freighter, being escorted by a destroyer Vanessa. Well, hello there. So they, the, as they were nicknamed the po pocket battleships, these little um, heavy cruisers are awesome. Where are they? Okay, they're over there somewhere. It's night, can't see a bloody thing. Still can't see them. That's dead ahead, so they've got to be over here, some of they? Seriously? I can't see. Am I blind? Am I blind? They're behind us. Is that, is that supposed to be smoke on the horizon? Is that what that is? Okay. Uh, this is a first. I know we've got fog of war on. Okay, let's go harder port.
This will give us an indication. I can't see them. That's the red line there is. Ah, the fog's too bit, can't see them. Okay. Um there's no point firing if I can't see them. Maybe I'll put a star shell in the sky. Oh, that's a beautifully aimed star shell as well. They're gone. Oh, crap. Hello? Oh, they can see. Oh, they're firing a star shell up as well because they can't see us. Oh, I love this fog of war. That's really... Ah, now we can see each other. Brilliant. Hello, you're actually really quite close. Right, where's the Vanessa? We'll knock out the Vanessa and then Bob's your uncle. We are home free. Right, so the wind's quite strong. Um, we'll switch to high explosives. 11 inch high explosives. So the same same guns as they've got on the um, Gneisenau and the uh, Scharnhorst. Um, elevation of 9.2. We'll go 9, because I don't believe they often overestimate, then underestimate. No, 9.2 would probably be better, right? <laughs> she opens up with her 5-inch guns, with maybe 4-inch guns. They shouldn't really do much damage. They're going to be high explosives to try and get some fires on us, but apart from that, that shouldn't be too much of a bother. 10.2. That seems a little much. I'm going to go 9.6. Good hits. She's getting closer as well. They're all running. Don't blame them. I like this fog of war. It actually makes the star shells useful for once, you know. So now that's gone, if I look, I can see the ship I'm engaged with, but the others have disappeared. Brilliant. Okay. I like that. That's an extra little mechanic to the game. I like that. Right. 9-2. Fire. Oh. Just missed. She's opened up straight away. We'll blame that on the um, lack of light. But I don't want to waste a shot. Seven point? That seems a lot. Okay, we'll come down to seven point six. Um. Right. The wind adjustment was right, the range was wrong. We've all gone a bit all over the shop since uh, we've lost the light. But when you're firing, you know, I can see the target obviously because she's burning, so I'm going to go 7.6 again. It's telling me 6.9. Don't believe it. No, it should have been even more than that. Fortunately, the Vanessa's in no real state to trouble us, so we got the uh, the chance to take our time a little bit. I'm going to go, except for the third time, because she's moved forward three times now, so this should be on the money. It's just below the waterline as well. She's still going there. I thought that might. There was a bit, bit of a pause, and I thought that would. Could have been the end of her. Right, we'll slowly start turning to starboard. So we give chase. Um, 7 2. Vanessa's gone. I gotta put a star shell up.
start chasing these down. Who have we got there? Uh, large freighter, 13.2. Just for the wind. Oh, still got the star shell. Down. Okay. Let's move her up. Let's switch the guns this time. <laughs> Stop firing star shells at them. Um, 12.1, okay. Twelve point one was the wind. It's just for the wind. Boom! It's going to get their attention. Have I lost them already? I've lost them. Star shell. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a little bit more beans. Oh, they're getting away from us. Oh, surely we're not going to be outrun by a... Um... Let's close in on them then. Oh. No guns on target. Oh, okay. We can't fire at that angle. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Okay. What we'll do then, we'll do... Let's get the secondaries. Oh, we can't get the secondaries. Okay, it'll have to be the primary. A turret, get some high explosives. And we'll launch it. It was that direction somewhere, wasn't it? It's about there. Add a little bit more on. Just for the wind. And we'll fire into the dark. And we're wide. Okay, we need to come out at a bit of an angle then so we get another star shell in the sky. That's as far as we can. Pop one over there though. That may light up that ship over here. Yes, it has. I see you. What a cool dynamic this is. I like this cat and mouse. Oh, they got lucky. Slightly out with the wind. Has that freighter survived and carried on? Oh, hang on, I was looking the wrong way. Oh, they were the last known contacts with it, were they? That's cool. Quickly before the star shell goes. Um, 11.4. Angle of the wind we need to get right. Oh, just a glancing blow. That has sent a hell of a bright vibration through the ship, I bet. Right, we're going to do a blind shot because we're close to this one. Uh, I'm going to drop the guns down a bit. Right. We'll fire a star shell next time. Oh, I didn't adjust enough. That crew is going, oh. Scary times. Let's put it up between them. Okay. Uh, 11.2. 11 11 oh, we've got star shell. <laughs> we almost fired another star shell at it. 11.2. Uh, 9.5. I'm going to go with my trusty reading. Fire there. Oh my goodness. This ship has got some sort of force field around it. I do not seem to be able to hit this damn ship. 10.5. Uh, Oh, 
Okay, sheer that volume of um, fire has caused some damage. Finally. I'll get another star shell in the air. Three switched back to guns. Oh, hang on. 10.5? No. 10.3? Okay. Oh, there we go. Got her. Finally. Her luck ran out. Now this one, 12. Just the wind. Let's put another star shell up in the sky. Days. Happy days, can see you. All right, ten point nine. Go eleven two because we're going to adjust for the wind. Good hit. Just the shells didn't land quite how we wanted it to. Uh, 11.5 they reckon. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, 11.2. Boom. Just managed to snag it. And another uh, star shell is required. It's always a bit further to the left than I expect it to be. C2 freighter. Right. Um, elevation 10.4. We'll go 10-7 because we're going to have to fire with the wind. Couple of snaggy shots, good. Um, still setting 12.3 and yet I'm, hit, I'm hitting it with 10.7. What's with that? Oh, she's gone. <laughs> we just compacted her misery. Compounded her misery, not compacted her misery. Silly thing. Right. Action report. The heavy cruiser Lutzo sunk the destroyer Vanessa for 1,300 tonnes. The C2 freighters for 5,500 tonnes apiece. And the large freighter for 8,700 tonnes. So warship tonnage, 1,300. Merchant tonnage, 19,000. 700. We've earned what 1300 renown, obviously, for sinking the destroyer. Happy days in the western north cent central Atlantic. Allied merchants attacked by warships. 39,500 tons of merchant shipping was sunk. Well, it is a good start. It is a good start. Well, th that's not kind of the day I envisioned in October 1939 to come up against a battle cruiser and an aircraft carrier. 
uh, against our two um, battleships. But uh, we held, we held, held to, and we um, carried the day, which is uh, the important thing. We'll now get the Gnaiz now back into port to get some repairs. We don't want to lose her; she's far too much of an investment. Lutso then just finishes off with a little bit of um, a little bit of fun towards the end, just to uh, kill some tonnage. We got still one red bar on the tonnage bar at the top, which is all going well. And we'll pick this up next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you are, hit that thumbs up. Let me know you want to see some more. And if you haven't. And you want to see some more, make sure to hit that subscribe, tickle the bell so you don't miss the next video release. Thanks ever so much. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.